Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and today we're taking a look at Tango AR Gaming on Lenovo's Fab 2 Pro. When you think of augmented reality gaming, or better known as AR, the first thing that likely pops up into most people's heads is Pokemon Go. Without a doubt, Pokemon Go is the most popular AR game of all time, but the mixed reality Pokemon Go creates is far different from what a Tango-enabled device can actually do. The Lenovo Fab 2 Pro is a massive slate of a phone, but it's a great evolution from the tablet we saw at CES in the beginning of this year, yet brings all the amazing features of that product into a significantly smaller package. This phone doesn't just see the game world through the lens of the camera on the back, it actually maps out a physical virtual space that you can walk around, interact with, and get as close to as you want. It's unbelievably impressive, accurate, and brings a whole new paradigm to mobile gaming that we simply haven't seen before. Right now, Tango's ecosystem is still in its infancy, but what we're seeing available is still pretty incredible. The bulk of the ideas on Google's Play Store delve into experiences that no other device on the market can deliver, and that's for good reason. The many cameras and sensors included on the back create worlds that seem straight out of the highest end VR solutions available on a PC, but delivered straight through the phone's screen instead of an interactive VR headset. This means truly spatial movement around virtual objects which are placed in physical space and give players the ability to move around the real world while fully exploring the virtual. There are over a dozen games on the Google Play Store right now, but we're just going to highlight a few of them for you today. Let's start with Hot Wheels Track Builder, which allows you to virtually create the Hot Wheels track of your dreams. Now of course the inner 8 year old boy in me jumped out as soon as I saw Hot Wheels, and indeed playing this with my 3 year old son was nothing short of amazing. Sure, it's not quite the same experience a real car on track set would have, but it's considerably cheaper and way easier to build. This particular game doesn't use the look of the real world at all, but rather builds an entire virtual room that you can fully walk around in. The main area where you will build a track is a table in the center of the room, but this isn't the boundary by any means. Building tracks on, over, and even under the table, around to the floors, and anywhere else where an attachable surface lies is completely possible. There are challenge levels as well as a completely free build mode where you can use the pieces you've earned or purchased out right to your desire. Then of course launch cars to your heart's content and watch them fly around your crazy track. The game is an absolute blast and it really shows just how palpable the virtual world becomes when walking around zooming into your track's elements, following the cars around, and seeing that virtual race take place. Another one of my favorites was the simple yet elegant domino world, which is exactly what you might imagine. This game lets you set up virtual dominoes in the real world as seen through the camera's lens. As we saw with Hot Wheels, this includes fully spatial movement around the room, and even attempts to map the pieces to real world geography, including edges of tables and the like. There's no way for Tango to create virtual walls where physical ones might exist though, so you may very well run into situations where you put a domino behind a chair leg, but a different perspective makes it look like the dominoes in front instead. These can take you out of the action a bit, but if you know the constraints, you can build a seriously impressive labyrinth of pieces, complete with special toy and trick pieces as well, which really are a lot of fun to build. The limits here are more down to what your imagination can create, rather than any limits of the software itself. Gamers who have been around for a few decades might remember the 1994 PC classic Sim Tower, and it's those folks who will likely flip their lid at the idea of a new game built upon that same concept. Towers for Tango is just that, and it brings Sim Tower into a truly three-dimensional world that you can fully walk around in. Here you place your city block onto a real-world surface in your vicinity, and get to building and managing your own tower. Just like the 90s Maxis Classic, you'll be adding in all sorts of different types of rooms to your tower, from apartments to offices, fast food restaurants to elevators, and of course all the staff that runs the joint as well. Managing your money is just as important as the tower itself, and anyone who's a fan of sim type games will know exactly what to do from the get-go. Like any good Tango game, the big trick here is that the tower actually exists in real world space, meaning you can fully delve down into each floor simply by scooting around in the real world. This of course lends a whole new dimension to the action and gives it a far more natural way of interacting with what appears to be a toy tower, rather than pressing buttons and navigating through menus in two dimensional space. Now these are just three of my personal favorites I've found on the Play Store and there are plenty more where that came from too. Since the Fab 2 Pro is the first real commercial Tango device and the first phone to support Google's Tango ecosystem, we're bound to see some huge growth in this sector as more units are sold and of course more phones and devices supporting the ecosystem come to market. Much like 
like Google's Daydream VR, we're going to have to wait for this brand new platform to expand before it becomes an absolute must-buy for everyone, but techies alike who are willing to plop down some extra cash on this amazing device will certainly have all sorts of new experiences to try out of the box. With new apps and games added pretty consistently to the Play Store since the phone's launch, there's really no reason to expect things to slow down anytime soon either. We hope you enjoyed that more in-depth look at what Lenovo's first Tango phone delivers, and hope you'll subscribe to us for plenty more AR and VR content to come. Check us out on your favorite social network, and don't forget to check out AndroidHeadlines.com for 24-7 Android-based news coverage. Thanks for watching, and until next time.